I'm Dan Hamilton. I was the deputy director of the Aspen Institute Berlin from 1982 to 1990. I was Shepard Stone's deputy. There were only two American on the staff at the time, uh, the director and the deputy. Well, my perspective was with Aspen during the Cold War in a divided city, divided continent, divided world. And so for me at the time, the Aspens at Berlin meant a place where you could bridge some divides. You would encounter, you would explore, and you would engage. Uh, no one was stepping back from their positions in, in this hardened world, but you would have a better sense of what those perspectives were. And as I said, it was also an anchor for the Western Alliance, for the Western Partnership, because it brought so many Western leaders to really see. West Berlin was the place where you could physically touch the Cold War. You could touch it. You could touch the concrete. You could see the barbed wire. You could understand why this was all necessary. So Aspen was a place for those types of encounters. And to use cultural, you know, just humanity of it all, to try to bridge some of those harsher divides. When the wall came down, we, of course, all thought, wow, uh, now we're in a new world. We won't need those walls anymore. Things, everyone's coming together. Berlin had been the symbol of Europe's Germany's divisions, the world's divisions. Suddenly, it was the symbol of Europe, Germany, Berlin coming together. For many years, I think that was Berlin's next vocation, was to show how Europe could come together after being torn apart. And so Aspen at that time, after the wall came down, I think was also critical because it still brought people to Berlin to see the new Europe, the new Germany, the new Berlin, in the context of the decision to move the capital here. So it was an important time, even though I had left, but I came back uh, and I know that the Institute did that. Today, I think that those notions have gotten a sort of a sober assessment. <clears throat> We're again in a time of fragmentation. Uh, I would call it an age of disruption in which many of the beliefs we had held for about a quarter century are now being questioned. We're facing the greatest land war in Europe since 1945. Um, many of the assumptions we had that Europe would come together are shattered. You now have China as a power in Europe. It's not a world away, it's right here with a very different set of notions and values. And the United States is debating its role in Europe as it always has, but now with some ferocity uh, and so Aspen can still play this role of bringing people together across those divides, new divides now, but to still serve as an anchor for the German-American partnership, which is the compass in the storm, if you will, uh, even as we go forward into a very different era.